Hello everybody, this is Jesse12489, and today we're going to talk about Metroid theories. Today's topic is Samus's Chozo Power Armor and Metroid Prime. What is the relationship between the two? The Chozo Power Armor, like most Chozo technology that is capable of adapting with any technology, the Chozo Power Armor is capable of assembling and absorbing technology. Not everything that Samus absorbs have to be weapon-based. They all could be any type of technology, as long as it helps Samus to traverse certain terrains. It is unknown how the Chozo Power Armor works by absorbing and assimilating technology. Most of her weapons are like simple plasma torches where she acquires them when she needs it. It kind of makes you wonder, if she was on our planet, what kind of stuff would she absorb? She probably could just touch an old Game Boy and then she could play Game Boy games on her visor. Now in Metroid Prime's case, Metroid Prime is capable of absorbing matter and assembling technology. Metroid Prime is only interested in arsenal. Metroid Prime can absorb anything and use it as armor and weapons. This shows that Metroid Prime was probably designed for only for combat use. Now what is Metroid Prime? Well, Metroid Prime is biologically similar to a Metroid. Unlike most Metroids capable of absorbing life energy, Metro Prime is capable of absorbing matter and assimilating technology. Knowing that Metroids were created by the Chozos to stop the spread of X-Parasites, I'm going to believe that Metroid Prime was created by the Chozos to stop something far worse than any X-Parasite. What could be far worse than an X-Parasite? A Phazon Leviathan. Phazon Leviathans spread across the galaxy, landing on their planets, and spreading its corruption. I'm going to believe that when Talon IV was impacted by Leviathan, the Chozos tried to combat it, and Metroid Prime was created. Now, Metroid Prime is capable of absorbing matter and assimilating technology and taking its abilities. I'm going to believe that Metroid Prime actually assimilated the whole Leviathan and took its ability to reproduce Phazon. Now what back up this claim? Well, knowing that when Leviathans crash on planet, there should be a Leviathan in the impact crater. But there is no Leviathan. And knowing that Metroid Prime is capable of taking people's abilities, as evident in the whole Metroid Prime trilogy, so knowing that Leviathans also generate Phazon, Metro Prime can too, so we'll have endless supply of energy. When you fight Metro Prime for one last time, it is unknown if that's its final form, because once you defeat it Metro Prime, it goes into a brain stage, and that could be its true form. And Metro Prime is capable of changing form depending on what it has absorbed. Metro Prime is found in the caverns below near the Phazon Mines. When you first fight Metroid Prime, it has actually the same types of arsenal as you. It's got its own versions of the Wave Beam, the Plasma Beam, the Ice Beam, and the Power Beam. But it uses it in a different way, and plus, once you defeat it the first time, you find out that the whole thing was actually an exoskeleton, as is explained in the logs, that Metroid Prime absorbed the sentry bots and armor of the things it absorbed. And then you fight Metroid Prime one last time, and in the final ditch effort, after Metro Prime was defeated, it absorbed Samus' phase on armor. And in the secret ending, you find out that Metro Prime has become Dark Samus. Like I said before, Metro Prime is only interested in weapon-based abilities. Unlike the X-Parasites, Sa Dark Samus has strategic ability capable of complex planning and foresight. It is unknown if Dark Samus is capable of speech or is telepath, because the space pirates do talk her words of what she says. It is unknown if all Chozo technology is adaptable with other technologies from other races, but knowing that Metroid Prime and Samus's Chozo power suit is capable of such ability, is it all Chozo technology or is it just these two? It makes you wonder, was Metroid Prime and the Chozo Power Armor created by the same Chozo scientist? 
there's actually a little bit of evidence that backed this up, according to Metroid Prime, that there was a Chozo on the planet, or a few Chozos, that were aware of Samus. 